Thank you. Um, the first thing I always like to point out when I do something like this is it is much easier to be in a studio or on a football field with like four guys around you and nobody else and realizing people are watching you, it's much easier to do that than to look out in a room full of people. So everybody always asks, do you get nervous when you do TV? No, but I, I do get nervous when I stand up in front of people. Still, it is a pleasure to be here and allow me to welcome you to the 2016 McKinney Vento Awards. I'm thrilled to be here because it's such a wonderful cause and there's so many of you that are so important to it that are in here. Advocates, law firms, supporters, board members, and staff, obviously, of the National Law Center on Homelessness and Poverty. We're commemorating the 18th annual McKinney Vento Awards this evening and the Law Center's 27 years, think about that, 27 years of high impact work to protect the rights of individuals that are experiencing homelessness. And if I can go off script here for a minute, I was thinking about it. My friend Eric is who called me here uh, to, to come up and do this. We've known each other since our days at Michigan. And as I was just saying, somebody from college calls you, you come, you answer. Um, and you know, I live in New York, daily basis, going to work, going to the gym, it doesn't matter. I see homelessness on a daily basis. It, it feels like it gets more and more. It is every race, it is men and women, it is children. And it's scary to see because you know even in that moment when you, when you do give a few dollars or you do give a sandwich, you just, you can't do it all. And I've said to my boyfriend before standing on the subway, I mean, you, you, can't, you can't help everybody. We can't help everybody. And I commend you all for taking it a step further and doing what needs to be done. And by that I mean trying to solve the problem of it. It's the Chinese proverb give a man a fish, you feed him for a day, and teach him to fish, and you feed him for life. And I, I just really, that's from the bottom of my heart, and I commend you for doing this, so it really is a thrill to be here and help out in any way that I can. Tonight, we are gonna recognize the outstanding individuals that are doing what I just talked about, individuals and organizations that have advanced solutions to ending homelessness and poverty across the nation. This ceremony pays tribute to two outstanding leaders, Congressman Stuart B. McKinney and Bruce F. Vento that I will admit I did not know about until I joined a board. In 1987, the late Congressman Stuart B. McKinney, a primary sponsor of landmark legislation providing federal assistance to Americans experiencing homelessness. The Stuart B. McKinney Homeless Assistance Act was the first and is still the only major federal legislation addressing the issue of homelessness. The late Congressman Bruce F. Bento worked in partnership with Stuart B. McKinney and served as one of the original authors of the McKinney Act. After his untimely death, the legislation was then renamed McKinney-Vento Homelessness Assistance Act in recognition of Congressman Vento's work championing legislation to help homeless individuals to become self-sufficient. 27 years ago, Maria Foscarinas had the vision and foresight to create an organization that would ensure homeless individuals would receive the benefits that were promised to them under the McKinney-Vento Act, legislation that she helped draft and promote. Maria and her staff have continued to advocate for additional measures beyond this legislation with the ultimate goal of ending homelessness. The Law Center, as it's grown under Maria's direction, has remained ever vigilant, monitoring the implementation of the act and going to court when necessary to protect the rights of homeless individuals, successfully advocating the new legislation to end and prevent homelessness. The Law Center is continuously advocating for new legislation, has led its way through many critical issues, such as the lack of available and affordable housing and homeless individuals, an issue that the Law Center has worked tirelessly to combat. Since 1985, Maria has advocated for solutions to homelessness at the national level. Upon leaving her high-powered career in New York City as a litigator at Sullivan and Cromwell, she left for Washington, D.C. to mount a campaign for a federal response to homelessness when it was just entering a stage of a national crisis. Maria continues to be a visionary, taking on new issues leading to victories, such as winning a new federal law to protect tenants from eviction and potential homelessness in the recent foreclosure crisis, adopting new strategies, such as advocating for the human right to housing within the US. Where others may have folded due to governmental pressure, Maria has, again, for the last 27 years, persisted to finding a solution, improving the lives of countless individuals. It is an honor to have a true visionary here with us tonight. Please give a warm welcome to Ms. Maria Foscarinas. <laughs> 